representational state transfer is an abstraction of the architecture of the World Wide Web. More precisely, REST is an architectural style consisting of a coordinated set of architectural constraints applied to components, connectors, and data elements, within a distributed hypermedia system. REST ignores the details of component implementation and protocol syntax in order to focus on the roles of components, the constraints upon their interaction with other components, and their interpretation of significant data elements. The term representational state transfer was introduced and defined in 2000 by Roy Fielding in his doctoral dissertation at UC Irvine. REST has been applied to describe desired web architecture, to identify existing problems, to compare alternative solutions and to ensure that protocol extensions would not violate the core constraints that make the web successful. Fielding used REST to design HTTP 1.1 and uniform resource identifiers. The REST architectural style is also applied to the development of web services as an alternative to other distributed computing specifications such as SOAP. One can characterize web services as RESTful if they conform to the constraints described in the architectural constraints section. See the Applied to Web Services section if you are only interested in the application of REST to web APIs. History the REST architectural style was developed by W3C Technical Architecture Group in parallel with HTTP 1.1, based on the existing design of HTTP 1.0. The World Wide Web represents the largest implementation of a system conforming to the REST architectural style. Software architecture A software architecture is defined by a configuration of components, connectors, and data constrained in their relationships in order to achieve a desired set of architectural properties. Components A component is an abstract unit of software instructions and internal state that provides a transformation of data via its interface. Connectors A connector is an abstract mechanism that mediates communication, coordination, or cooperation among components. Data Data is an element of information that is transferred from a component or received by a component, via a connector. Architectural properties The architectural properties induced by the architectural constraints of the REST architectural style are performance. Component interactions can be the dominant factor in user-perceived performance and network efficiency. Scalability to support large numbers of components and interactions among components, Fielding describes REST's effect on scalability thus. REST's client euro server separation of concern simplifies component implementation, reduces the complexity of connector semantics, improves the effectiveness of performance tuning, and increases the scalability of pure server components. Layered system constraints allow intermediaries or euro proxies, gateways, and firewalls or euro to be introduced at various points in the communication without changing the interfaces between components thus allowing them to assist in communication translation or improve performance via large-scale, shared caching. REST enables intermediate processing by constraining messages to be self-descriptive, interaction is stateless between requests, standard methods and media types are used to indicate semantics and exchange information, and responses explicitly indicate capability. Simplicity of interfaces, modifiability of components to meet changing needs, visibility of communication between components by service agents, portability of components by moving program code with the data, reliability as the resistance to failure at the system level in the presence of failures within components, connectors, or data, architectural constraints, the architectural properties of REST are realized by applying specific interaction constraints to components, connectors, and data elements. The formal REST constraints are Client to Euro Server. A uniform interface separates clients from servers. This separation of concerns means that, for example, clients are not concerned with data storage, which remains internal to each server, so that the portability of client code is improved. Servers are not concerned with the user interface or user state, so that servers can be simpler and more scalable. Servers and clients may also be replaced and developed independently, as long as the interface between them is not altered. Stateless 
the client to Euro server communication is further constrained by no client context being stored on the server between requests. Each request from any client contains all the information necessary to service the request, and session state is held in the client. Important to note is that the session state can be transferred by the server to another server such as a database to maintain a persistent state for a period and allow authentication. The client begins sending requests when it is ready to make the transition to a new state. While one or more requests are outstanding, the client is considered to be in transition. The representation of each application state contains links that may be used the next time the client chooses to initiate a new state transition. Cannibal. As on the World Wide Web, clients can cache responses. Responses must therefore, implicitly or explicitly, define themselves as carable, or not, to prevent clients reusing state or inappropriate data in response to further requests. Well-managed caching partially or completely eliminates some client to Euro server interactions, further improving scalability and performance. Layered system. A client cannot ordinarily tell whether it is connected directly to the end server, or to an intermediary along the way. Intermediary servers may improve system scalability by enabling load balancing and by providing shared caches. They may also enforce security policies. Code on demand. Servers can temporarily extend or customize the functionality of a client by the transfer of executable code. Examples of this may include compiled components such as Java plots and client-side scripts such as JavaScript. Code on demand is the only optional constraint of the REST architecture. Uniform interface. The uniform interface constraint is fundamental to the design of any REST service. The uniform interface simplifies and decouples the architecture, which enables each part to evolve independently. The four guiding principles of this interface are, identification of resources. Individual resources are identified in requests for example using URIs in web-based REST systems. The resources themselves are conceptually separate from the representations that are returned to the client. For example, the server does not send its database, but rather, perhaps, some HTML, XML or JSON. Manipulation of resources through these representations, when a client holds a representation of a resource, including any metadata attached, it has enough information to modify or delete the resource. Self-descriptive messages, each message includes enough information to describe how to process the message. For example, which parser to invoke may be specified by an Internet media type. Responses also explicitly indicate their capability. Hypermedia is the engine of application state. Clients make state transitions only through actions that are dynamically identified within hypermedia by the server. Except for simple fixed entry points to the application, a client does not assume that any particular action is available for any particular resources beyond those described in representations previously received from the server. One can characterize applications conforming to the REST constraints described in this section as RESTful. If a service violates any of the required constraints, it cannot be considered RESTful. Complying with these constraints, and thus conforming to the REST architectural style, enables any kind of distributed hypermedia system to have desirable emergent properties, such as performance, scalability, simplicity, modifiability, visibility, portability, and reliability. Concept Representational state transfer is intended to evoke an image of how a well-designed web application behaves, presented with a network of web pages. The user progresses through an application by selecting links, resulting in the next page being transferred to the user and rendered for their use. REST was initially described in the context of HTTP, but it is not limited to that protocol. RESTful architectures may be based on other application layer protocols if they already provide a rich and uniform vocabulary for applications based on the transfer of meaningful representational state. RESTful applications maximize the use of the existing, well-defined interface and other built-in capabilities provided by the chosen network protocol, and minimize the addition of new application-specific features on top of it. Applied to web services, 
Web Service APIs that adhere to the architectural constraints are called RESTful. HTTP-based RESTful APIs are defined with these aspects, base URI, such as HTTP, example.com, an Internet media type for the data. This is often JSON but can be any other valid Internet media type, standard HTTP methods, hypertext links to reference state, hypertext links to reference related resources. The following table shows the HTTP methods that are typically used to implement a RESTful API. The put and delete methods are referred to as idempotent, meaning that the operation will produce the same result no matter how many times it is repeated. The GET method is a safe method, meaning that calling it produces no side effects. In other words, retrieving or accessing a record doesn't change it. Unlike SOAP-based web services, there is no official standard for RESTful web APIs. This is because REST is an architectural style, unlike SOAP, which is a protocol. Even though REST is not a standard, a RESTful implementation such as the web can use standards like HTTP, URI, XML, etc. See also, RSDL, Clean URLs, Sinatra, Create, Read, Update and Delete, Resource-Oriented Architecture, Service-Oriented Architecture, Resource-Oriented Computing, Domain Application Protocol, RAML, Swagger Specification for Defining Interfaces, References, Fielding, Roy T. Taylor, Richard N., Principal Design of the Modern Web Architecture, ACM Transactions on Internet Technology 2, 115 Euro 150, DOI. 10.1145-514183.514185, ISNA 1533-5399A, Fielding, Roy Thomas, Architectural Styles and the Design of Network-Based Software Architectures, Doctoral Dissertation, University of California, Irvine, Pautasso, Ser. Wild, Eric. Alarcon, Rosa, Rest. Advanced Research Topics and Practical Applications Sir, Pautasso, Sir. Zimmerman, Olaf. Lehman, Frank, Restful Web Services vs. Big Web Services, Making the Right Architectural Decision, 17th International World Wide Web Conference E, Richardson, Leonard. Ruby, Sam, Restful Web Services, O'Reilly, ISBN A 978-0-596-52926-0A, Ferreira, Otavio, Semantic Web Services, A Restful Approach, IADIS, ISBN A 978-972-8924-93-5A, Notes.